Right. I want to speak to you in regards to a screenshot that I was sent tonight in regards to what has gone off with Ray from Model Later. So here's what it says. My name is such and such. I work on Model Later. I receive video files over the internet and add them and upload videos to this channel. I do not have direct contact with the owner of this channel. I am just paid a share of any monetization that the channel has made over the last two years it has been running. I honestly do not know anything about the allegations made here in your comments. I am writing to ask politely if the creator of this channel could delete any links or ban the person leaving these comments. We are not involved in any of this. We are having posts placed on our Facebook accounts and comments made to our friends on Facebook. The girls on the channel team are actually going to take over the channel but cannot do that whilst all of this is being blown out of proportion. Innocent people are being targeted for nothing at all. Myself, my family and my friends are now involved. Oh, hold on. Are now, yes, are now involved. And I have done absolutely nothing wrong. Please think of the innocent people and all this, that all this is affecting. I don't think anyone here would like to be associated with any of these comments. So can you help? Um, there was another post and it says, I am such and such who left the comment above. Do you think before posting links, these videos were normal and innocent parties? The same as other people chose to have. You have now linked my address to all of this. Plus... The faces of many of my friends are all completely innocent in these allegations. She mentions the other person, Belle, someone Belle, has done nothing wrong. Why are you out to ruin her life? Do you realise the harm you are doing to innocent people who have done nothing wrong? But no, Ray, please stop and remove any links that affect us. Right, so I've got something to say to you. You're innocent in all of this, right? You don't know him, but he's paying you. How does that work? You're not associated with him and you don't know him, but he's paying you. So how is he paying you if you don't know him? You know, because I would find it very strange. Somebody put money into my account that I didn't know. Secondly, you're talking about your innocence. Really? Well, you do realise that a convicted pedophile targeted me who was completely innocent, on this platform. Now, did he do it in a sinister manner? I don't know. I really don't know. Did he leave lies sinister? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he did. On a channel that has tried to have my family harmed, have us hurt, and possible fatal attacks on us. And he chose that channel, yes, to leave lies and malicious spite about me on. I was innocent. Now, you are also saying that you know nothing about his behaviour and his past. Well, <clears throat> I'd like to um, ask you about that because, according to him, you're his crack investigative team. So if you can't investigate somebody that's paying money into your bank accounts, that doesn't really make any sense. So you obviously did know about his background and you still allowed this man to to target me. He picked me from all the other channels on YouTube that had a disagreement with AD. He picked me and you guys sat back and allowed him. You're talking about your innocence. What about my innocence? What about my family's innocence? Uh huh. What about that? What about that innocence? Is, is it, has that ever come into any of your minds? The fact that a convicted sex offender targeted me and used my channel full of very attractive mothers to spread lies, hate, spite and gossip. 
that he assured that you, his crack investigative team, had found all this out. So you, you're getting paid by him, but you don't know him, yet you can change the settings of the, the channel, but you don't have any way to take the channel down. And it's not about money. Well, I think you're an absolute disgrace. I think you've sat back and you have allowed this man and his secrets to target me and my channel and say and do whatever he likes and not one of you has had the decency to forewarn me. So uh, regarding your channel that you're desperately trying to hang on to, really, if you had any decency in his years, would take it down and forget about YouTube because you are guilty by association. You're going to be tarred with the same brush and you're talking about your address. Nobody put your address up. None of us put your address up. Nobody from my team put your address up. I don't know who you're speaking to, but we don't go around putting addresses up. So if you are being associated with him now and getting a hard time maybe maybe because you're all such great investigators and you can go and investigate all sorts of things and find out all sorts of entertainment things you can't investigate the person that's paying wages into your account and you can't forewarn me a disabled mother you can't forewarn me that this predator is on my channel using my channel to talk about people and stir up spite and hatred against somebody that he obviously had a personal vendetta against, but nobody thought to warn me. Yeah, you're talking about your innocence and you just want to hang on to your channel so that you can get paid for the last two years of hard work, but you can't investigate the person that supposedly owns the channel, but you are able to change all the details of it, change the name of it, but you can't take it down. That doesn't make sense. I actually think that it's against YouTube rules and regulations for a convicted sex offender to be on YouTube. And since the channel obviously still is in his name, because you're not allowed to give channels away, either, that's against YouTube rules and regulations too. Obviously, well, it used to be, maybe it's changed, but it used to be. But obviously, somebody's being less than honest here. And I don't care what you're saying. You know, you might be bleating now saying, oh, well, you didn't know anything. But somebody that's paying you, you don't know anything about. But you can't take the channel down because of your two years of hard work and you want to be paid for it. But you don't want any association with the fact that a sex offender ran the channel. I get it. I understand. But um, as soon as I found out about it, I came out and I told people. I apologised and I forewarned them. But none of you guys have done that. No, and you, you're trying to say, you, you, you're trying to do, 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 do kind of soften it to what it really is. Um, I think you should go back and look on your posts because I've got screenshots of them and I'm going to be putting them up. I want to warn you about that. I am going to be putting them up. And honestly, what you are making, it's not worth the damage that you have caused. If any of you had a ounce of decency, you should get off here. But as I say, he said that you are his crack investigative team. And you were the ones that were able to do all the investigating and everybody that was being investigated, obviously me, for him to target me for a reason, but you couldn't forewarn me. Yeah, and you, you, you accepted money from a convicted sex offender and now you're trying to say that you know nothing about it. Now something stinks to me and I'm not buying it for a minute.